Yo, what up guys? Welcome to my video. Jack's off to another adventure and this time Jack's off to Canada. Now, I wasn't really gonna vlog because it's a bachelorette party, but I got some time right now, so let's go. Alright, so in Chinatown, they got all these little alleys. We're gonna check out this one, the Fantan Alley right here. Let's check it out. Check this out, they got a secret alley right here. Let's go check this place out. Oh, that's it? This is like Oakland. One of the plazas in Oakland right here. But you do get a little history here for the Fontan Alley. Definitely read up on it when you come here. Yo, so in this Chinatown area, they got all these like small alleyways and they got these different shops here that don't really look Chinese to me, but <laughs> what who am I to, you know, say what it is or not? Got this view that looks very you also got a little library i like this reading is good for education and you got the boba tea place exotic world tea and thai massage so you can be getting rubbed up while you drink some boba asian dream yo so we hit up a boba shop here in chinatown it's a confusion boba shop, they got all these crazy titles But they don't got the original one And for me, undecided ones, you can always ask the bartender to give you a bartender choice We'll see how it tastes in a little minute What did is bartender special So I don't know 自己點了什麼東西不過味道的話有點像荔枝不會很甜大概半糖的那種感覺而且我又沒叫半糖不要低嘛快點一下比較好低 So another thing to do here in Victoria, you go to the Fisherman's Wharf here. And being from San Francisco, this is hella quiet. Yo, so you can actually live over here. There's a, it's a floating B&B. You can actually rent this place out for a few nights. Actually, Tree Fitty tried to rent it out, but <laughs> They cancel his appointment or they cancel their reservation because of renovations. How do you feel about that, Big Fitty? Sad. So, you know, spending a night here is actually not that bad, especially when it's pretty quiet right here. It's like noontime right now, and you don't really get a lot of traffic here. So, it wouldn't be a very noisy place to stay at, unlike Pier 39, Fishman's Wharf in San Francisco, which I think is overrated, anyways. They got balconies up there to chill. On a nice weather like today, it's perfect. Check out these colorful decorations all over here. These are actually resonance. So if you come here, 
Don't be making too much noise. I gotta be really quiet. You hear this? I'm a fucking ninja right now. Yo, this is a small ass house. Yo, so it's like noontime right now. The only restaurant here open was the Mexican restaurant. <laughs> I guess Mexicans are like Asians, they, they don't stop working. So essentially Fisherman's Wharf, they got these fancy colorful boat houses, which is pretty nice. If you'd like to look at those, you should definitely come over here. But if you're here for food, good luck, man. So according to my mechanical engineering friend Tree Fitty here, this miniature bus, can you stand next to it for the size comparison? This miniature bus right here, it's supposed to work. Got the battery sitting right there, you got seats. If you can see, you got the steering wheel in there. That was pretty neat right here. A bunch of guys would get a bunch of these mini buses, get drunk, and then start racing each other, I guarantee it. Yo, check this out. This is City Hall right here. See how small this is? I guess Canada, they care more about the people than investing in the big City Hall. Right here, small City Hall. But they got this big Christmas tree right here. I don't know if you can see, but they got those big ornaments. I'm sure this is a Christmas tree. Would look much better with snow though. Yo, so I got this little jug of iced tea and I also got some McDonald's. Gotta try some Canadian McDonald's. So let's see. I got the Chipotle Mexican burger right here. And I also got the, the Thai sweet chili sandwich. Thai sweet chili sandwich right here. About to find out. Jug life. All right, so first up, we're gonna try the Chipotle Mexican hamburger. So the Chipotle hamburger, they have square buns. Never seen this one before, a square bun, and then you got a round patty. Shouldn't you have like a square bun and then a square patty like Wendy's? But yeah, let's try it out. I mean, look at the size, it's super small. I guess it's different because we're not in America. But this thing was like $3 Canadian dollar, which is a little less than $3 US dollars. But anyways, let's get it. It tastes just like a hamburger. I don't know what the chipotle sauce is, but it's a small square bun hamburger. All right, next we're gonna try this Thai sweet chicken. Another square bun. It tastes like McChicken with sweet and sour sauce and cucumbers. So, nothing too special. So a little bit disappointed that they're not overly special, but it's something different that you can't get in America, I guess. So now I'm gonna give y'all a tour of my Airbnb here in Victoria, Canada. Let's go. So you walk in here, you got the umbrellas because it snows and rains here a lot. Right here, the bathroom, let's get the light going. They even fold the stuff for you right here. Pretty nice. Modern looking shower. Too bad you can't kind of ninja it. It's cool though. Now you got the kitchen right here. This is the, you got a printer out here. You got a, I guess this is a vacuum cleaner. But well, you can hang your clothes here. So you got the electric stove, the toaster. You got the sink. All right, now this is the room right here. Hey, check this out. They even got this thing. It looks really high tech. Temperature control. So it's a very small room. Just fits the bed, pretty much. 
and then this must be the closets. So yeah, you can iron your stuff here. If you have guests that want to sleep in the living room, which I'll show y'all later, you got the air purifier. It's a very basic room, which is meant for sleeping. All right, and so this is the living room. You got the sofa right here. You got this mini fire extinguisher. Mini, mini fire extinguisher. You got this very modern looking design. You got the TV. So I can show here and watch some sports later. And then dining area. Right now y'all can't see it. It's kind of dark, but there's a balcony. So maybe I can catch some sunrise tomorrow. All right, so things do close pretty early here in Victoria. So I'm just gonna chill here for the rest of the night and just hang out for a little bit. All right, hit y'all up later. So we're doing high tea. This is like very fancy tea with the ladies. Um, the only tea I drink is milk tea, <laughs> boba milk tea. So we're gonna try to make some boba milk tea right here without the boba. So this is the rose tea. And for all y'all milk tea enthusiasts, the secret to milk tea is just tea, creamer, and sugar. So tea, creamer, and sugar. We're gonna make this into a rose milk tea right here. So yeah, as mentioned before, I was here in Victoria for a bachelorette party and we were supposed to stay with the ladies in the same house but long story short, we got signed to a different Airbnb. Let me give y'all a quick tour. So once you walk in, you got the master bedroom. This is where I stayed. You got a nice comfy bed, you got the TV, and not too much of a view, but at least you got this big window. And let me show y'all the best part. There's two closets, one right here, one right here. And look at this bathroom right here. You got dual sinks. And the best part, you got the hot tub right here. When it's cold in Canada, you just wanna take a super hot bath. And right, let's continue on. So my buddy 350 stayed here, he's gone already. Very simple room. And he got this bathroom all to himself. So it's not as good as the back of my head, but you know, it's still pretty nice. And here's the living room right here, slash kitchen. You got a nice kitchen, nice counter with the sink. You got the living room area with the view. You got the TV right here. And one of the good, one of the perks about this Airbnb, it really isn't the view. I'm not gonna show y'all the view because the view isn't too good. But really, it's the proximity to downtown. So if you look right there, right here, these are like the main attractions of Victoria. So it's super close. All right, so we were by McDonald's and there were some other specialty items. Uh, some donuts. Damn, they don't even like box it up. But they got these mini donuts right here. Mini donuts and we got the poutine fries. I had no idea what poutine is, 
I guess it's like gravy right there. Poutine fries. All right guys, so I'm about to head out. Before I leave Victoria, I'm gonna have some McDonald's McDonut. This is the maple one. And then you got the very nice looking one, the chocolate. So yeah, I really wasn't gonna vlog too much cause I was here for a party and not really for traveling, but I vlogged anyways, just for practice. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until my next series, Jack is off. <laughs>